All right, so this is a walk around video on my 1963 Ford F100 unibody pickup. It's a custom cab with the big back window and short bed. Little backstory on it real quick. This was actually my very first vehicle. I got it back in 2003 and it needed a full restoration at the time I got it. It was pretty rough. Uh, I'll show you some pictures at the end of the video if I can find them. Uh, it was a little father-son project that my dad and I restored together. Um, and I really owe a lot to the truck as far as, you know, what I know today. Because I really learned a lot with it at that age. And, uh, you know, it's helping me, helped me get to where I'm at today. So, very sentimental to the truck. Um, so what's done to it? It has a big block Ford 429 out of probably a Thunderbird or something like that. Really don't know. I got it from a junkyard. Uh, it's very mild, stock bottom end, dove heads, uh, Lenati cam, Edelbrock aluminum intake, and a Demon 750 carburetor. It's got a serpentine belt conversion. Power brakes. Hydro boost. Uh, behind it is a T56 out of a Dodge Viper. Um, I believe it came part of a six-speed swap kit for a Fox Body Mustang. I found the setup on Craigslist a couple years ago and thought I would give it a shot. It's adapted to the engine using a quick time bell housing and uh, an adaption style clutch. Out back is a Dana 44 with 392 gears and an Auburn limited slip. Uh, the chassis on the truck, the back half is the stock frame, stock leaves, axles flipped on top, and the uh, frame was notched just a little bit to uh, give a little more clearance. It's got a sway bar off of like a mid 90s F-150 in the back. Up front, it's sitting on a 1998 F-150 uh, front clip. Uh, a lot of people will probably ask why I did not go with like a Crown Vic setup or a Mustang II setup. Um, at the time when I did the front end on this truck, the whole Crown Victoria thing wasn't really that popular on these trucks. Um, to be honest, I had never even heard of it at the time when I was doing this. Which would have been around 2008, late 2008. So, I'm sure some people were probably doing it, but I had never heard of it at the time. So, literally what I did was, I wanted to update the suspension in the front. I wanted power steering. I wanted um independent suspension because the truck originally had a straight axle and i just grabbed a tape measure and took some measurements off the truck went to a local junkyard and looked around and found what i thought would work which wound up being a uh, 98 f-150 so you know looking looking back on it and knowing what i know now and uh what's popular now I probably would have done a Crown Victoria setup on the truck, whether it be just the front suspension or the whole chassis, I don't know, but but uh, it's definitely a good a good setup for these trucks, and I like it a lot, but at the time, this is what I went with, and I'm happy with it. You know, it rides good, it drives good, handles really good for what it is. Um, it's a real pleasure to drive, and it's usable. And the truck does get driven a good bit. I, it's not uncommon for me to drive it to work. Um, I take it to a lot of shows, a lot of stuff like that. I've done power tour with it. I've driven to Carcraft Summer Nationals. 
a lot of shows at the beach, things like that. So let's look into the interior. It's pretty basic, just rubber floor mat, bench seat still, gas tank still behind the seat. Got the vintage air, really like that. Little Alpine stereo system. Uh, for an exhaust on the truck, it has, I think they're Flotec headers. I don't really remember. That was one of the first things I did to the truck uh, right when I got it going. And that's been a while ago. So it's got those, and it goes into a 3-inch pipe and into some stainless MagnaFlow mufflers with turndowns right before the axle. It sounds pretty good. I'm happy with it. Um... You know, one of the things I'd like to do in the future for the truck would be to run the exhaust out the back somehow and get a little noise out of the cab. Because when you're cruising, it does have a pretty strong drone, like in real low RPM when you're lugging it around and stuff like that, which is pretty easy to do with the six speed. Um, other things I'd like to do to it in the future would be a different set of wheels. Uh, these are American Racing. I don't even remember what model they are. Been on it for a while. But they're 17s, uh, front and back. And personally, I think they look a little dated on the truck now, but uh, it's still a nice wheel and tire combo. But I'd like to go to something a little more modern looking, aluminum, maybe a little bigger, a little wider. Uh, other things I'd like to do in the future would be to get the gas tank out of the cab, maybe move it. Um, under the bed, somewhere behind the rear axle, and uh, try and shift a little weight to the rear of the truck. It's very nose heavy with the all iron big block and the six speed. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the truck. Um, it's been a real fun project for me. It's gone through several phases over its life with me, and uh, just had a lot of fun with it, you know? All right, we just had Christmas, so I'm gonna use the 63 to haul away all the boxes and trash and stuff. Rocky, good morning. How are you doing today?
All right, just got here to Cars and Coffee. It is packed today. Uh, looks like we're gonna be stuck here for a little while. That's all right. Check out some of the cars. Have a good time. Okay, let's look at a couple old pictures of the truck. So at the start we have uh, some photos of when I first got it and the initial restoration process and then towards the end there's a picture of the F-150 front end and the T-56 and then uh, doing a couple events. So here we go. Alright, so this video was a lot of fun to make, and uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Appreciate you watching.